Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of my Unraid series. Uh, today we're going to be discussing LiDAR, how to set it up. Um, I'm going to try to offer some pointers on a straightforward way of just getting this configured up and working and also get it configured to uh, the QB BitTorrent program and also Jacket uh, as well as configuring this in Plex for your Plex app. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, we need to go ahead and create a folder that we're going to have our uh, music being uh, downloaded to. So um, just to quickly touch base on LiDAR, what LiDAR is, it's one of the R forks uh, and it's responsible for uh, uh, basically managing your, your music. Okay, and so that's what, uh, what LiDAR is for. Um, so let's go ahead and start. And uh, the, we need to create a folder for our music. So go ahead and jump on your uh, on the server um, using the, the Samba share. And um, we'll go ahead and bring mine here. So you can see I have a folder for movies. I have one for TV shows. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder and it's gonna be a music, okay? And uh, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and uh, Let's go ahead and uh, create. Or let's go ahead and install the application into the into the uh, Unraid server. Go ahead and go down to the apps, and you're going to look for a application called Binhex uh, LiDAR. So just go ahead and search for LiDAR, and you should see the Binhex um, version of this. Go ahead and go to uh, install. Uh, in my case, I did this earlier, and I just reinstalled it. So I'm just doing an install. Um, all right, so going through the configuration, we're going to leave this as bridge, okay, because we're not doing anything crazy with the interfaces. Um, so we're going to leave it as bridge. The port that it's going to be using is 8686. So whatever the IP address, in this case, it's uh, 10.0.2.114. Uh, we're going to be using port number 8686. Um, the path config, uh, we can leave this the same. We can leave it as is. Uh, next is going to be your container path. Uh, this is where the uh, container path is for your downloaded files or user created content. So this is where we're going to go ahead and set our download folder to. All right. So our download folder is basically um, uh, mount user downloads. And that's where we have our download folder going to. Um, that's actually where we have one of our shares configured for. But we'll just go ahead and leave it as is uh, or as this configuration here. Uh, next is going to be the path to media. Okay, now this is going to be the path uh, that you're going to have for your media folder. So we created earlier a music folder on the uh, as one of the uh, folders in our in our Samba share under media. So we'll go ahead and navigate to this. Let's go to media, and we're going to select uh, music. Okay, so we want that to be music. So this way, our container path that we're going to reference in the future. Uh, when we get down to it in uh, in uh, LiDAR, we're going to use forward slash media. All right. Uh, variable shared network. Uh, this right here can be set for no for now, unless you have uh, other requirements to configure otherwise. But for uh, this, this movie and this example, we're just going to leave it set to no. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit apply. And it should just take a moment to install and download. Okay, so the install or the download and install has been completed. Um, you can see the command finished successfully, so we'll hit done. Uh, in order to access our LiDAR, uh, we'll go to the dashboard, and you should see it now being displayed on the dashboard, or you can find it under your, uh, your Docker section. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and click on it. Uh, go to Web UI, and this should begin the, uh, the initial installation of LiDAR. Uh, the first part is uh, setting up the authentication login page for it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and set a, a login page. Um, next is the authentication required. Yes. And then in, and then the uh, admin and password. Or so username and password. Go ahead and put that in there. Okay. Okay, so before we go any further, uh, we need to establish a root folder. All right, this is the folder that the mu music files will be downloaded to or stored. I'm sorry, not downloaded to, but they're going to be stored here. 
All right, so earlier we created a folder, a music folder, as uh, one of the folders under our media share. And uh, we also selected or have the configuration under, um, uh, here it is, the container path, which shows forward slash media. Okay, so this is the path that we're gonna reference under LiDAR when we set up the root folder. Okay, so the add root folder, go ahead and click this. We're gonna put music. All right, and then the path. Now we're looking for something that says media, which is here. Okay, and that's gonna be the folder that we're gonna use as the home folder for our music files. So we're gonna hit okay. Um, all those can be left as is, hit save. All right, so that's been done. All right, next is we're going to go to the system because it looks like we have some system errors that we need to get corrected before we go any further. Um, the first one is going to be the download client, and then we also need to set up our indexers to, to basically work with LiDAR. Uh, so in other words, we need to get LiDAR talking with Jacket in order for it to begin looking for um, uh, music sources. All right, so let's go to... Um, Let's start off with our download uh, application or download client. Uh, in this case, we're using QB BitTorrent. So we'll go to our download clients. Okay. And we're going to select QB. All right. And the IP address. Okay. Username. Now we have recent older priority. We can leave these as last. If for some reason you have other requirements, you can set, you can adjust these as needed, but for the most part, you can leave them as is. Um, initial state started. Uh, we also have sequential order and first and last. You can turn these on. That's only if you have torrent, I think it's a uh, torrent queuing enabled on your qubit torrent program. Uh, if you don't have that enabled and you run into issues, just uncheck these and leave them, leave them unchecked. It's fine. All right. But in my case, I know I have it set up. So we're going to go ahead and keep those turned on. Um, and that should do it for the QB, the QB BitTorrent application. We'll go ahead and test it to make sure things work. we got a green check, which means it works. All right. So that's settled. Now we need to go to the indexers and we need to get... Um, LiDAR configured with uh, our application jacket. So with um, with LiDAR, we don't want to just specify one specific indexer within our jacket application. We want to basically use all of them. Okay. And so the best way to do that is there's a special link that doesn't get advertised much, but um, the way you get to it is I know I set it up in, uh, in Sonar. And it's a link that looks like this. So it's basically the IP address, the port number, and then towards nav forward slash all. And what that means is it's going to go ahead and select, or it's going to search through all of the, uh, all of the indexers that we currently have added into Jacket. So these are the ones that we have added into our Jacket application. Okay, so we're going to use that within LiDAR. So there's our URL. Let's go ahead and grab the API key. Okay, and then we also have the seed ratio. We'll leave that alone and then tags. We'll leave that alone. Now, if you try to test this, it's going to give you an error. All right, so don't even don't even bother, but it's pretty much set the way it should be. Now, if you're doing single indexers, then you can test it and you should get a green check mark. But for the most part, this is just going to be checking them all. So I'm not even that worried about it. Uh, so we'll hit save. Okay, and um, just like I mentioned, it did show the, the uh, yellow triangle. Um, but as you can see here now, the system is showing no errors, so it should be good to go. All right, and so let's go ahead and uh, add the root folder. I um, thought we added it earlier, but I guess it didn't take. Oh, okay, okay, there it is. It did take. All right, so it's there. And so, ah, okay, I see what's going on. So we haven't added a... 
uh, album just yet. So we're going to go to add new. Um, so we're going to go to Breaking Benjamin. I think that's one of the uh, initial examples that I see here. Okay, and then from here, you just go ahead and add to uh, or add Breaking Benjamin. Um, you can see that the root folder has already been selected. All right, you show the monitor. Oh, it looks all good. And then monitor new albums. Pretty much this is all ready to go. So just hit Add Breaking Benjamin. And now it's been added. And so now if we go back to our library, you'll see Breaking Benjamin has been listed here. And it's already doing a, a searching indexers for Breaking Benjamin. So it's going through all the different albums. So if we click on it, it's going through the, uh, it's searching for each of these different albums to see if it's available. And if it is, it's going to go ahead and hand that off to uh, the QB BitTorrent application. And then it's going to download it and then bump it over into our, uh, into our uh, uh, save directory that we have on the server. Uh, let's just give it a minute. Looks like we already have something going on. So you can see the activity turn to one. So here's one of the, the files coming through now. And you can see another one's coming through. So it'll probably get handed over to uh, over to QB and then it should show up on the activity. So there's two. So we have Saturate and Phobia uh, albums that are coming through. All right, so we'll let these uh, run. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull up the uh, QB BitTorrent application so you can see that moving. So you can see the files are coming through now. And then while we wait for the uh, downloads to complete, We'll go ahead and visit the uh, uh, Plex application. Okay. Now we have Plex set up for, we've already set up Plex for our movies and TV shows, which is awesome. Now what we'd like to do is we'd like to create a, an additional folder for our music, uh, music files that come through. And this way they can be added to Plex and we can have them uh, available for streaming. So let's go ahead and uh, click on a plus and we're going to click on music. Okay. And then browse for media folder. We're going to look for our media folder. So that was media and then data and then music. Okay. We're going to hit add and then add library. Okay. And uh, so now we're looking for our music folder. So now whenever something gets added into the music folder, it should automatically update into this and be available for streaming. So let's go back and check on our, our downloads. So we have one that's almost complete. All right, so it looks like the uh, download has completed. So we have one that's seeding. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and stop it for now. Um, normally I would just let it run, let it finish seeding. But for this video, I'm just going to kind of speed things up a little bit. So we're going to set it to, to completed. All right. And what should happen is it should uh, recognize that it's been uh, completed and pull it into the uh, LiDAR app or pull it into the stored directory that we have on the server and then make it available um, here as one of the albums. All right, let's just give it a minute. Okay, so as you can see, it's waiting to import. Looks like it imported. Um, and now if we go to our library, you can see that there's a purple uh, bar right here, a purple progress bar, which indicates that that's stored media. Uh, so now if we open up our albums, you can see here that now we have the Saturate album, okay? And you can see it's here in its, its entirety. So here are the different uh, music folder, music files for it and it, now it's managed correctly there and then if we also pull over our media folder um, you can see now that it shows it under music folder breaking benjamin and then all the files nicely nicely uh, managed for you so and that's pretty much it now let's also go back and check our plex application um, because it should also recognize that there's now a music in this folder 
Okay, so I might need to add something there to, to periodically check it, but for the most part, you can see now that we have Breaking Benjamin has been added. You can see that it's uh, now showing up in the uh, music folder under Plex, and it's available for um, to be accessed. All right, everyone. Well, that completes um, today's video for uh, LiDAR. Um, I really appreciate y'all's questions and uh, any any requests that you guys add. Uh, and just be sure to uh, like and subscribe to these videos. It really helps out the channel and really keeps me uh, um, motivated to add an additional content for you guys. Uh, if there's anything else at all, just let me know and I can get it added. And uh, so you can basically help you guys out. Um, all right, everyone. Well, uh, that's it for the, for today's video. Uh, until next time. Bye.